Welcome to our series, Fine Poetry, Poems That Touch Deeper Chords. Today, Kathleen Rain, 1908-2003. There was a long, long period of an exchange of letters between Amal Kiran and Kathleen Rain. Perhaps one day we can share some. Kathleen Jessie Rain was a British poet, critic, and scholar, writing in particular on William Blake, W. B. Yeats, and Thomas Taylor. Known for her interest in various forms of spirituality, most prominently Platonism and Neoplatonism, she was a founder member of the Temenos Academy. She and K.D. Setna, Amal Kiran, corresponded for many years on poetry and other topics. Rain spent part of World War I a few short years with her auntie, Peggy Black, at the manse in Great Bavington, Northumberland. She commented, quote, I loved everything about it, end quote. For her, it was an idyllic world and is the declared foundation of all her poetry. Rain noted that poetry was deeply ingrained in the daily lives of her maternal ancestors. Quote, on my mother's side, I inherited Scotland's songs and ballads, sung or recited by my mother, aunts, and grandmothers, who had learned it from their mothers and grandmothers. Poetry was the very essence of life. Some of her poems. Change. Change, said the sun to the moon, you cannot stay. Change, says the moon to the waters, all is flowing. Change, says the fields to the grass, seed time and harvest, chaff and grain. You must change, said the worm to the bud, though not to a rose. Petals fade, that wings may rise, borne on the wind. You are changing, said death to the maiden, your wan face to memory, to beauty. Are you ready to change, says the thought to the heart, to let her pass all your life long? For the unknown, the unborn, in the alchemy of the world's dream, you will change, says the stars to the sun, says the night to the stars. Confessions, wanting to know all, I overlooked each particle containing the whole unknowable. Intent on one great love, perfect, requited, and forever, I missed love's everywhere small presence, thousand guised, and lifelong have been reading book after book, searching for wisdom, but bringing only my own understanding. Forgive me, forgiver. Whether you be infinite, omniscient, or some unnoticed other, my existence has hurt. Being what I am, what could I do but wrong? 
Yet love can bring to heart healing, to chaos meaning. In the beck, there is a fish that quivers in the pool, itself a shadow, but its shadow clear. Catch it again and again, it still is there. Against the flowing stream, its life keeps pace with death. The impulse and the flash of grace, hiding in its stillness, moves to be motionless. No net will hold it. Always it will return, where the ripples settle and the sand. It lies unmoved, equated with the stream. All flowers are fit for air, man for his dream. Love poem. Yours is the face that the earth turns to me. Continuous beyond its human features lie the mountain forms that rest against the sky. With your eyes, the reflecting rainbow, the sun's light sees me, forest and flower, bird and beast, know and hold me forever in the world's thought. Creation's deep, untroubled, retrospect. When your hand touches mine, it is the earth that takes me, the green grass and rocks and rivers, the green graves, and children still unborn and ancestors. In love, passed down from hand to hand from God. Your love comes from the creation of the world, from those paternal fingers streaming through the clouds that break with light the surface of the sea. Here, where I trace your body with my hand, love's presence has no end. For these, your arms that hold me, are the worlds in us the continents clouds and oceans meet our arbitrary selves extensive with the night lost in the heart's worship and the body's sleep Nocturne. Night comes. An angel stands, measuring out the time of stars. Still are the winds, and still the hours. It would be peace to lie, still in the still hours, at the angel's feet. Upon a star, hung in a starry sky. But hearts, another measure beat. Each body, wingless as it lies, sends out its butterfly of night with delicate wings and jeweled eyes. And some upon day's shores are cast, and some in darkness lost in waves beyond the world, where float somewhere the islands of the blessed. 